Please, who hasn't heard that song about 100 times, if not more? Any bar that you still walk into in 2015, you're going to hear it, and it's been around since 1987. One of the men who is known for the work on that song, playing the drums on Pour Some Sugar On Me and many, many other classics, is Rick Allen. When he's not touring with Def Leppard, he's pouring paint on the canvas, trading the drumstick for a paintbrush. And this weekend, you can see Rick Allen's other works of art on display. There's one of them. That's, I love that. The works of art on display right here in the D.C. region for details and a few stories from the road, if we can get them out of them. Rick Allen joins us now live. It's good to see you, man. How are Fantastic. you? Fantastic. It's a pleasure. Really good. Really good. So it's good nice to, to be see here. You. So good to see you. So, listen, we were just chatting about drumming a little bit, and I have to embarrass myself because as an amateur musician. I've never embarrassed myself. Back in the day. No, I'm sure you never have. <laughs> this was me, Rick, back in, uh, back in the day, and you can just kind of see the mullet was just starting to grow out at that point. Fantastic. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. You look just like me. <laughs> you got all the talent, though, and, uh, and you had much better hair oh. back in the day and now as well. It must have been fun, but I heard that you joined Def Leppard when you were a teenager. You're like 15 years old, right? Yeah, uh, around my 15th birthday, I saw a piece in uh, the local newspaper, Leopard Loses Skins, went to do the audition, got the job, and then, I, you know, I, by the time I was 16, I was like opening up for ACDC and all these incredible bands, so very blessed. Are very you blessed. thinking at the time, just like disbelief, like I can't believe I'm part of this whole thing? Or did you not realize at that time how big things would become for you? I, I'm not sure I could think that far uh, in advance, uh, but, uh, you know, looking back, what a gift, what a gift for a kid of my age. And the fact that Def Leppard has been one of the bands, I mean, obviously, at the time, you, you guys were the best of the best of that, that genre of music. Thank but you me. had the staying power, though. And a lot of bands, they peaked and then they fell, fell apart. You guys have been going strong ever since. Why do you think so? I think because we're friends and we enjoy each other's company and we keep writing new songs and we love what we do. Yeah, you're still playing a lot of the old stuff, too, which people love, I know. And I heard, are you doing the whole hysteria? Yeah, we, we did. We, we actually did uh, when we were in, uh, in Vegas uh, last year, which was, which was incredible to do the whole thing from start to finish. Uh, I think we'll revisit that, but I think for on the tour, we're just going to keep it, you know, try and please as many people as we can and play as many different songs from as many different records as we possibly can. Well, I have to be honest, as we stay on the music front, to me, I think Pyromania is probably closest to me. Fantastic. Because uh, in Photograph in particular, Cool. Um, obviously because of a girl, and I was trying to impress her because she uh, said she liked it. So I was like, I got to go learn all this. And I could, this was back in the day, you know, no internet. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, what are they saying in this song? And Rock and Roll Clown always had me confused because I couldn't figure out what it was. Ah. And I was like, I'm going to listen until I can figure this out. I'm going to impress that girl. Fantastic. Yeah, it didn't Fantastic. work. But I tried, Rick. I tried. That's I tried. That's excellent. So when did you swap the drumsticks for the paintbrush? Or did um, you always have that, uh, that part of the artistic uh, in you? This was more re-remembering uh, re uh, how things were when I was a kid. I, I always enjoyed uh, using my camera, and then it just did develop from there. I started working with a company called Scene 4, and then more recently I met up with Wentworth, and, mm -hmm. uh, and they said, well, why don't you start, uh, why don't you start throwing paint on the, on the canvas? We're looking at some of the works right now, and we're showing some of them on the, on the screen. Uh, you have a lot of, uh, I mean, we saw the flags, now we see the U.S. Capitol, and now this, we're in London now. Uh, I, I don't want to ask you about politics, but uh, is it a patriotism theme for you? Um, somewhat, but it's more, it's, it's more just paying homage to, uh, you know, uh, m my life in, in England, growing up in England, and then finally coming over here. You know, I only came over here when I was like, you know, let's say 1980. That was the first time I came mm -hmm. over here. So... You know, what I thought America was like and what the actual experience of being in America was like, uh, two completely different things. But now I live here. So, you know, it's, uh, it's been a pretty colorful life. I've had a very, uh, a very varied sort of experience. It's so, fantastic. Some of the ones we're looking at here, walk us through. Are these, these start as photographs? That started as this a photograph. This one in particular right yeah. here. And this is uh, obviously an enlarged uh, handprint. And this, uh, obviously, this started uh, before I even came here. This is really the mystery of, uh, you know, the journey, the journey that we all take. And uh, like I say, you know, coming to America for me was very special. And, and this, was, this was part of that, that journey mm -hmm. of coming here. Well, your journey is, is unique compared to many. Uh, you know, we all know the story about you lost your arm in an accident when you were young. I mean, you're 21 years old, right? Yeah. But you already had a couple albums under your belt. You went ahead. You didn't let that stop you. You basically relearned how to play the drums right. with one arm, which I think got you a lot of attention. But a lot of people also 
realize that they can do things probably because you didn't quit, you didn't give up. You know what, if I can inspire people uh, just by, uh, you know, things that I do in my life, what a gift that is. And, uh, you know, I've just, been, I've just been very fortunate that uh, I was able to find that, that, the strength of the human spirit and get myself back up. And, and you know, I, I love doing what I do. I love playing drums. And this is just another way to express myself uh, in the same way that I do with my music. Did you ever think that you wouldn't be able to play drums again? I, I did. Uh, in the early days, it was really hard. But the support I got from uh, family, um, the rest of the guys in the band, and then thousands and thousands of uh, letters from all over the, the planet, you know, I'm like, you know what? I, I need to keep doing this. Not just for myself, but for all the people around me. Well, thank goodness you did, because the band's been going strong for decades now. The artwork is fantastic. I want to let you know where you can go out and meet Rick and check out some of his artwork if you like. Wentworth Gallery has a couple of uh, locations. Saturday's going to be a busy day for you, Rick, from 12 until 3 at the Wentworth Gallery at Montgomery Mall. Then you get a little break, maybe some dinner, from 6 until 9 o'clock at the Wentworth Gallery at Tyson's Galleria. Now... You should RSVP if you really want to make sure to go, but uh, hopefully there'll be room for everybody to come out and see. And then, if you want to go see the music, July 2nd at Jiffy Lube Live, you guys are going to be playing with uh, Styx and Tesla. I That's believe, right. On the That's road right. this year. That's right. That should be a fun show. Yeah, we played with both those bands before. Great guys. I'm sure people will love the whole package, you know, so uh, come on out. That's awesome. Rick's great to see Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Good luck and Thank congratulations you. on everything. We'll send it back over to you, ladies. I love those pieces of Aren't art. Aren't they great, Al? Yeah, really nice. Beautiful and inspiring. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Steve. It is now uh, 9.48, right? I think so. Okay. On this yeah, Thursday. The <laughs> Glare on the camera. Coming up next, we're going under the big top with the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. Oh, and Bob. And Bob Barnard and Bailey. And Bailey and <laughs> Barnum and, yeah. Barnum and Barnard <laughs> and right. Bailey, yeah. <laughs>